Hi, today I'm going to share with you what program I use to look up where the Milky Way is situated on the night sky. Okay, so the program is called Stellarium. The latest version is what you see here. The website is stellarium.org. Pretty simple, they support all of these platforms, so I'm using it on Windows. Um, so let's just bring it up and see how it looks. So when you bring it up, it kind of looks like this. Uh, I think it automatically detects where you are. If it doesn't, then uh, hover over to the left here and uh, bring up the location window and figure out where you are. Uh, I am not in Port Coquitlam, but uh, I guess that's the closest place that it recognizes. It gives you a field of view and a whole bunch of stuff that you can customize. But the basic gist of this software is that you can advance time and figure out where stuff is going to be at night. So, for example, tonight at 8 p.m., there's going to be that much luminosity still coming from the sun. The moon is going to be positioned to the south at that rough height. Uh, I'm not going to be able to see much of the Milky Way at that time, but if I advance it by a couple of more hours, there you go, Milky Way is right behind the moon, and the moon's nice and bright, so I'm not going to be able to see anything, so guess what, I'm not going to go stargazing tonight, because this software helped me figure out, and also, I know where to look for the Milky Way, it's arching exactly across the sky, vertically, and not on a nice horizontal plane, so I can uh, take a nicer pic of it. So then, what you could do is, uh, there's no easy way to input the date in here, at least not that I know of. Date and time window, eh, I don't want to mess with that. You just, let's just forward to the um, 30th of the month, okay? That should be, um, what you would call it, uh, new moon. So, at 5 a.m., which is not a time that I'm going to be going stargazing, but roughly... Uh, Milky Way will be uh, going in between west and north, and the nice chunky part is somewhere there. So, more approachable roughly around midnight. There's the chunky part, it's toward the west. Alright, so that's where I'm going to be at the end of the month, positioning it towards west. And can I... Atmosphere. So if you disable atmosphere and all light pollution, that's how it would look. So the chunky part is barely visible over the horizon. If I take the photo a bit earlier, oh yeah, if I go at 7 p.m., we get that and we get Mars and we get all that juicy stuff. And it's south-facing. So there we go. I know if I go at 8 p.m. on the 29th of September, I am going to see the Milky Way in all its glory with that angle and the juicy part to the south. So there you have it. Use Stellarium, figure out where constellations are and where Milky Way is going to be and you can go forwards and backwards in time and you can plan ahead months in advance when you want to take your special little pick of whichever corner of the universe you want to take it of. My name is Doran, this has been DSL Vlogs with the DSL tutorial on how to get Stellarium to figure out where Milky Way and space stuff is on the night sky whenever you want it. So uh, thank you for watching this video and I'll see you at the next video. Thank you.